paper that you did. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Beardus Stevik. I'm the writer and producer. Um, that's Tokwe Alaki right there, Tokwe directed. Being, being honest, um, challenges of making this film, not a lot. And that's because this woman did a great job in pre-production. She has seen to the last spoon we will use, she knows it. So there were no surprises. So I will almost say it came easy for me, if I'm allowed to say so. What I thought was going to be challenging was our scene at the park, at the motor park in Agege. But because she's gone out to do some pre-work before then, it was a walk in the park. We just got there, talked to our own people, and we did our stuff, we flew drones, and we were excited to even have, have us. So I mean, no challenges, because she made magic happen. Uh, this is well, the most important, the most challenging part of it was me trying to get into that character, which I had to prepare immensely for. You know, I did, I was a, I was a conductor for five days before the film, so I could understand the manners and get myself into that whole situation. But um, I guess the the part that that clicks the most is you know before we shot, everybody was skeptical because me being an English actor and, and you know doing a lot of the accent things. You know, the, the, the producer was skeptical, but God gave me the opportunity, and this is what God has done. And this is Dixie. Dixie is my lead DOP. We know it's going to be what people are going to embrace, but we didn't know people love it the way they are loving it. This is my makeup artist on the set. I'm running in the movie. The challenge I have in this movie called Picture Perfect. It's during the time that um, Jobe was like fighting with uh, Mary. The sweat. I actually want to clean it. But I say, no, 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 no. He needs the sweat because he's talking very fast. So he needs the sweat. So I just leave the sweat just like that, yeah. Every single member of the crew, apart from the DOP, all of the movie. I also played Sudia Elijah. Um, I just I looked was my tailor. It was inspired by my tailor, really. And that's why the character was a tailor in the film. Um, top one was that my tailor. Very, very ah, oh, quick, quick, goodbye. You know, so but she she inspired the story, and I just started like, how can I? What what can happen to this girl that would distort her life? And that was how I started writing the story. And uh, Mary unfortunately isn't here because Mary is away on maternity. All I see is heartbreakers. And that's what they wearing the most. That little miss over there needs some food oil. An awesome piece of work, I must confess. Awesome, and I mean it. Like, this is not. I'm not trying to wash or. Kudos to the producer, kudos to all the actors. Limited cast, awesome storyline, beautiful performance. Papa, I follow you. Because I'm in love with you. If I offend you, if I offend you. All I see is heartbreakers and that bad wearing in the moon. That little miss over there needs some good oil. I am telling you that a social vice has encamped in my parameters. He is such a bloke. I mean, how cute is that? How they do what here? Oh. You know who this guy is? Now here he be this. Oh, <laughs> 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 <